Hey guys, Luke from DLM here, and today we're going to be showing you how to make a much, much better house design instead of these pretty boring stock standard house designs, like or roof designs like the one you can see here. So the house of course matters, but the roof can really, really, really have a big impact on what that final result looks like. So you can see this house here, it's a really nice looking house, it's, it's a very groovy house. I'm, I'm very happy with this house, but the roof is quite lacking it's very very boring it doesn't have much contrast it doesn't even contrast very well with the color of the background of the background walls in the rooms now on the left you have a very very similar house but with a much much more appropriate colored roof and has a much more detailed and nicer looking roof so i'm going to show you how to make this exact roof of course with different dimensions on this building so it does have quite a few steps and i'll take you through them one by one so of course the first step is just completely destroying this old and boring ass roof. So we're just going to whip out our vortex pickaxe and destroy every piece of red brick that is on the red roof. On the roof. Alright, let's go. Alrighty, so that is the first step done. And of course this house is looking pretty bare as of now. But there are actually quite a few steps we have to do before we can start placing what we're going to be using, which is mud brick for the outer wall, which is this brick here painted red. First thing we have to do is kind of do the insulation on the inside of the roof. So you can see that's here. So it's the brown part here. And I suggest using something other than the core building material for use for the walls. So I'm not going to use pearlwood walls or pearlwood blocks, which were used everywhere else in the build. I'm actually going to use stone slabs painted brown because they still kind of look wood-like but they aren't actually wood and you can tell they're very very distinct from the rest of the building. So I'm going to do the classic zigzag up and then we're going to flatten it all with a, uh, with a hammer. You do use the hammer quite a bit in this build so it's a good idea to get quite confident with it. Um, so that's one half done. Now this only needs to be done with the arch part of the roof, it's not necessary to do with the flat parts. So just screw up. So just the arch parts or the A-frame parts, that's the only part where a hammer is necessary to make a kind of insulated interior of the wall. Hmm. Alright, nearly done. And oh, I was gonna say it ran out. I knew I had the exact amount. And there, and then we hammer them all. So it is with any type of hammer for the top ones, two hits, and for the bottom ones, four hits. All right, we'll speed this up again. Alrighty, once we have done the insulating part, I guess is what we're gonna continue to call it. We're gonna grab some paint, so brown paint. It should kind of look like the interior wall, as I said, but it shouldn't be identical. So, I actually have some brown paint. Let's buy some brown paint, and let's buy a bunch of red paint because we're going to need it later and I forgot to buy any before. 400 should be enough because we're going to actually change it into deep red paint which is twice, uh, it costs two blocks is pretty much what I'm saying. So I don't actually have the paint brush on me so I know it's in my piggy bank. So let's grab out the Spectra paint brush and paint everything brown. Once again brown is probably the best paint in this game because you can make anything look like wood and everything that is wood looks flippin' groovy. Alright, for those wondering why we don't just use pearl wood blocks here, or the block that is used in the, the main building block, is it, it just doesn't work as well. I've done it, I've tried it quite a few times, and it just doesn't look anywhere near as good. Alright. So, the third start, I believe, after building and then painting, is chucking in the background wall. So this is the red part in between the brown and the blocks. Alright, so we start that just by placing uh, mudstone bricks, which is what we're using, which is made of mud and stone at a, uh, at a, oops, better turn that off, which is made with paint, which is made with mud and brick at a workbench. So we're just going to keep building up here. Very simple stuff. So. What we're going to do now is place the actual mudstone brick, which makes up the main portion of the build. We are doing just the arch part because that is much more complex than the side parts, just because there's kind of the insulating layer and then the main layer. So this is one block away, and I realize I've kind of just boned this, because when you place a block, it does instantly turn the blocks under it to full blocks, so they won't stay as 
half slabs, so there was no point in changing all those half slabs into non-half slabs, I guess. So we're gonna have to re-hammer everything, which is always fun. But um, I believe you, you understand what I'm saying here. And you go out here, and then down one. And then hammers fix everything. This goes up one. And then we're gonna have to hammer everything again. A message of a popular boy, I guess. So we're getting there nearly done. All the way down and then out and then two down like that. Alrighty, so that is the main part done. I make the whole thing a triangle. Oops, like that. Alrighty. And then we gotta re-hammer everything. Alrighty, so break out that hammer again. And then what you gotta do here is a bit harder, but you gotta hit the top wood ones four times and the bottom mudstone ones f twice. Oops, that wasn't a mudstone one, that was nothing at all. So we chuck that in. And we'll speed this up again. I'll zoom in quite a bit so you can see how it's meant to look exactly. I did miss some of the footage here, but at this point, all you really have to do is paint everything red. So paint those mudstone brick walls and those mudstone bricks red. Alrighty, so at this part, we're gonna line our roof with shelves. Now I find spooky shelves, or spooky platforms, look really, really good as tiles, purely because they have a lot of different sprites for their staircase, like state. So. By doing so, it gives it a really like authentic tile look, and it works really well with the mudstone, which also looks like a pretty authentic tile. So we're going to line all of the outside uh, concave area or crenellationed areas with stone or spooky platforms, and then, as to be expected, we're going to hit them all with hammers. We're going to turn them into this staircase variant, which looks like this facing inwards. So you're going to make a staircase up the side of your roof. And that's all done. The reason I've left three so here is this is because that's where the chimney is coming out of. So you should only need to hit these one each with the hammer. And then of course we're gonna paint everything red and then we've pretty much finished the arch part of the roof, which is by far and large the hardest part. So congrats. Alright, let's chuck it in everything red. Spooky platforms do look really well and they paint really well. If you are gonna use a platform like glass platforms. They don't paint as well and they look a bit weird even when colored with any type of paint. Last thing we're going to do here is chuck up the chimney. So the chimney is three blocks wide. Oops. Three blocks wide. Oh, sorry, four blocks wide. Whoa. Make it as high as you want. I think that's a pretty good height. No, it is three blocks high. It was my fault. I was correct the first time. I just screwed up when I was placing my uh, spooky platforms, which are these boys here. Alrighty. So you double hit it, uh, and you're gonna paint that chimney red, as to be expected. You get a nice little detail in here, where you hit that in, hit that in, paint everything red. Then you chuck a chimney, which is made at a workbench, no, at a sawmill, I believe, and you're done. So that is the main archway part. Aside from these little decorations here on the side, which is really, really easy, easy to do. Just chuck in two more of these. Hit the top one with a hammer. Oh, hit the bottom one with a hammer like that. Sorry. And then like that. And you're done. Now you can hammer that part however you want. It doesn't make too much of a difference. Just get whatever silk you build the most. And then you'll do the inner part here. I do need some more of these. Uh, mudstone brick walls just to line the bottom of the area like so. It did go a little bit too low here. Alright, there we go. And there we go. And just to finish off, let's put a hanging torch there. And one last thing, I did forget to do this as well. Put it on the roof. One goes to the right, one goes to the left. Just like that. Easy as a piece of pie. 
Here we go, that looks much, much better. I knew something was off. And same thing on this side. Wrong type of paintbrush. And that is the archway of the roof done. Let's finish off that one last easier part down here on the bottom. So as to be expected and as repeated many, many times, this side is much, much easier. Just place a lot of mudstone. But I put those wood shelves. And then on the top, we're gonna use metal shelves. So metal shelves do look different. They're used here and they look very, very different as flat ones than any other thing. You can use glass shelves here, you can really use anything. It's just I prefer these. And apparently you can't have that there, which is a shame. But oh well. You win some, then you lose others. I put the wrong shelf down. What am I thinking? What am I doing? Alright, metal shelves all the way. On the other side as well. And of course we're gonna have to hammer these down to make them lie flat on the on the uh, mudstone as opposed to suspended. Alright guys, the last step we have, which isn't necessary, but I really like, especially in these two buildings, is chucking some iron fences down. So this makes up this part here. Iron fences are just made at an anvil with iron bars, so super easy to make. And just do one, then two high. One high, then two high. One high, two high, so on and so forth. And just adds a little bit more detail to the tops of the sides, or the flat parts, which are a little bit less interesting to look at than the, um, the angled part. Alrighty, just about done. Screwed up there. No matter, we will fix it. And I somehow am missing one necessary iron. I'm back. Alright, got my four. Turns out they're lead fences, so I'm glad I kind of made them. The only difference between the two, iron and lead, is the colour. So you can use either, depending on what colour you're building is, I guess one might work better than the other, so that's the thing, that's the roof completely finished. Hope you guys did like this video, um, I'll chuck up a compar comparison image. Up here on the roof, I have another, up here on the floating island, I have another roof, which has a similar design. This one didn't turn out so well, but it's still much better and less boring than a, um, a flat, simple roof. So that is how to make a pretty kick-ass roof. One final thing is, I didn't actually make this roof design. I didn't come up with it. I don't know where it came from, and it came from a Reddit user. And I saw a bunch of his videos, a bunch of his photos, ages ago, and I decided to try to copy it. It's not exactly a copy, but um, this definitely isn't all 100%, 100% my intellectual property. I know most Tori builds do have inspiration, but if you guys could point me in the direction of the guy who kind of came up with using mudstone bricks and um, slabs and making a really groovy two-layered roof like this, I'd be more more than happy to chuck him some credit. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.